last chance at two million four hundred thousand dollars then all done at two million four hundred thousand dollars two million it is charlie's bid at two million dollars and against you one one l 0017 one seven at three million five now three million six and you won The Lichtenstein from 1964. Just here. The bid is on my right at 13. At 13 million dollars. 13 million. At 14 million dollars. The bid is on my right. It's a lady's bid at 14 million. At 14 million dollars. Ladies bid at 14 million dollars. So, thank you. 251. And lot 48. The Kooning Untitled 16 from 75. 750 with L, 8, 9 million. Back on, on the aisle at 9 million. At 12 million dollars. 12 million, 2. 13 million. Last chance selling for 14 million dollars. Thank you, sir. I'm ecstatic about the sale. The sale was the best sale we've ever had. It made, it exceeded its high estimate. It made $128 million. And what was really clear tonight is that if you have a masterpiece, the masterpiece transcend, transcends every market. The Liechtenstein making over, almost $16 million. The de Kooning making almost $15 million. These are price points that we have never experienced before. So we are in a new market where collectors pursue masterpieces ferociously. The Ryman tripling its world record price before at $10 million a plus. That these are things that are extraordinary to experience as an auctioneer and they really, really reflect the desire that these objects painted after 1945 are causing in collectors. The Ryman from 62. And um, the started bidding at me 3 million 2, 3 million 3, 3 million 4, 3 million 5, 3 million 8. On the aisle at 3 million 8. At 8 million 600 thousand dollars then, fair warning, last chance at 8 million 600 thousand dollars. Thank you, Gregoire, and thank you, the underbidder. Three million five at three million five hundred thousand. Three million last chance at three million seven hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Emmanuel. The last surge in the market was in 1988-89, but that was a market that was very much infused with Japanese capital. And what you see now is that art has become a necessity of the new wealth, and these people buy it to hang it on their wall and own it so it is a complete retail experience for them these are collectors that are wealthy and they want to own and live with the art they buy and that is the new phenomenon of an enormous amount of wealth created by individuals who then will just buy the best and they will pursue it with great great passion at 500 000, 550 600 at 600,000.